There is a bombshell new report out of ProPublica outlining the highly unethical and seemingly illegal behavior on the part of Clarence Thomas and uh, more specifically the fact that his billionaire friend, a Republican mega donor, Harlan Crow, has been spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in gifts and lavish trips for Clarence Thomas that Clarence Thomas has not been disclosing. And we will dive into what may make this illegal. Don't get your hopes up about accountability, but maybe this will motivate Congress to act in implementing more on the books laws when it comes to the activity of Supreme Court justices. And clearly there is a massive um, issue here. Clarence Thomas, yes, the same Clarence Thomas that has had all of these different scandals, including his wife, Jenny Thomas, being bought into all the election lies and texting a uh, chief of staff at the time of the Trump administration, Mark Meadows, with all these conspiracy theories about the election being stolen and Biden being locked up in a barge off Gitmo and all different wild things. And how Clarence Thomas didn't take himself off of cases that... Uh, impacted the very election that his wife has all these beliefs about and so many wild things already with Clarence Thomas and now we're adding this on to the stack of things that make him outside of his very right-wing views so unqualified to be uh, sitting on the bench of the highest court in the land and again hundreds of thousands of dollars we'll dive into this ProPublica piece in just a second here spent whining and dining him in the bougiest way, I guess you could say, and he wasn't disclosing it as he should have been. Uh, and he's being surrounded by, yes, his friend, which he can be friends with whoever he wants, but his friend, this Harlan uh, Crow, Republican donor, billionaire guy, and others who have very specific interests, and it would be very beneficial to them to have someone like Clarence Thomas, as powerful as he is, aligned with them um, and maybe it helps to align him a little bit to bouge him out, <laughs> to have all these bougie gifts thrown his, his way, right? Obviously, that's the big concern. But here from ProPublica, for over 20 years, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been treated to luxury vacations by billionaire Republican donor Harlan Crow. Uh, he goes on cruises in far-flung locales on Crow's yacht, flies, oh, didn't want to click on that flies on his private jet my goodness guys we are just falling apart there we go and keeps company with crow's powerful friends at the billionaire's private resort the extent of crow's largesse has never been revealed until now in late june 2019 right after the u.s supreme court released its final opinion of the term justice clarence thomas boarded a large private jet headed to indonesia he and his wife were uh, going on vacation, nine days of island hopping in a volcanic archipelago on a super yacht staffed by a coterie of attendants and a private chef. If Thomas had chartered the plane and the 162-foot yacht himself, the total cost of the trip could have exceeded $500,000. Fortunately for him, that wasn't necessary. He was on vacation with a real estate magnate and Republican mega donor Harlan Crow, who owned the jet and the yacht too. For more than two decades, Thomas has accepted luxury trips virtually every year from the Dallas businessman without disclosing them. Documents and interviews show. A public servant who has a salary of $285,000, that's uh, Clarence Thomas is a Supreme Court justice. He has vacation on Crow's super yacht around the globe and his private jet, and it continues with trips he goes on to a luxury resort and ranch and all these different things oh and this is important the extent and frequency of crow's apparent gifts to thomas have no known precedent in the modern history of the u.s supreme court and then crucial these trips appeared nowhere on thomas's financial disclosures his failure to report the flights appears to violate a law passed after watergate that requires justices judges members of congress and federal officials to disclose most gifts Two ethics law experts said. He also should have disclosed his trips on the yacht, these experts said. Uh, Thomas didn't respond to these questions. And then, uh, obviously, for the sake of being 
accurate and thorough, but not having to read every single word. Uh, the billionaire is saying nothing improper is going on here, as you'd expect. Um, interesting quotes, though. A retired federal judge said, it's incomprehensible to me that someone would do this. Other, uh, a former government ethics lawyer seems to have completely disregarded his higher ethical obligations and much more. I'll throw this link so you can read the whole, art the whole article if you'd like to. Very fascinating, very thorough. For the format of the show, we can't go through all of it. Um, let's see. A code of conduct for federal judges below the Supreme Court requires them to avoid even the appearance of impropriety. Members of High Court Chief Justice John uh, Roberts has written, consult that code for guidance. The Supreme Court is left almost entirely to police itself. So that's what makes a lot of questions still be present around if this is definitely against the law because the Supreme Court has very flexible uh, restrictions when it comes to what they can and can't do. But the law that has been implemented already, again, in response to Watergate and what gifts uh, the fact that gifts need to be disclosed, at least, the, at least those of a certain type, you think would apply to this. Specifically, gifts have been given and the gift of massive, expensive trips. And so many of these things just not disclosed. And I think, obviously, even Clarence Thomas was aware of that because why wasn't he disclosing these things? You don't want people knowing that an individual who has clear interests in the decisions that Clarence Thomas is making on the court is spending so much money for all of these lavish gifts and vacations. This is just funny. Um, <laughs> Clarence Thomas, now that you know all this, right? Hundreds of thousands of dollars being spent on these trips for him, yachts and all that. Um, he, in a recent documentary or a documentary that's discussed in this piece that Crow helped to finance said this quote, I don't have any problem with going to Europe, but I prefer the, the United States and I prefer seeing the regular parts of the United States. I prefer the RV parks. I prefer the Walmart parking lots to the beaches and things like that. There's something normal to me about it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. You're going to the Walmart parking lot as you go to the, uh, lake site private resort and, um, 105 acre property with all your, your buddies. You can see a little painted photo there, which he can have the friends that he like to have, but he shouldn't be having them spend tons of money on his behalf and not disclosing that information. One other note, during just one trip in July, 2017, Thomas's fellow guests included executives at Verizon and PricewaterhouseCoopers, major Republican donors, and one of the leaders of the American Enterprise Institute, a pro-business conservative think tank, according to records reviewed by ProPublica. The painting of Thomas at Top Ridge shows him in conversation with Leonard Leo, the Federalist Society leader regarded as an architect of the Supreme Court's recent turn to the right. So if they're saying, no, this is just authentic friendship, we just love chucking money at um, Clarence Thomas, they would at least have to admit when you have someone as powerful and influential as Clarence Thomas being surrounded by individuals with a very clear set of interests that are very relevant to the power that Clarence Thomas has. And then one of those individuals is spending tons of money for Clarence Thomas and Clarence Thomas is keeping it a secret. That's obviously completely inappropriate, unethical, and seems to be violating um, the law. Whoa. One thing I want to uh, look at here before we wrap this segment up, the chair of, um, let me see here. This is the chair of the Judiciary Committee in the Senate, Dick Durbin, released a statement and I think this is absolutely correct. The highest court in the land shouldn't have the lowest ethical standards. Today's ProPublica report reveals that Justice Thomas has for years accepted luxury travel on private yachts and jets and a litany of other gifts that he failed to disclose. This behavior is simply inconsistent with the ethical standards the American people expect of any public servant, let alone 
a justice on the Supreme Court. Quote, today's report demonstrates yet again that Supreme Court justices must be held to an enforceable code of conduct, just like every other federal judge. The ProPublica report is a call to action and the Senate Judiciary Committee will act. Hopefully they will. We do need more laws on the books. We can't have it as it is now where there's some, and that's what we're thinking has been violated, but not the same as uh, regular federal judges and Supreme Court justices shouldn't just be policing themselves as the piece noted. Instead, they should be held to a higher standard. They shouldn't be able to get influence like this. So much money spent on their behalf. And will we see accountability? Probably not. Um, but yet another example of how incorrect <laughs> our current Supreme Court justice reality is in this country. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel.